What is going on guys? The electrics, actually one electric. Come back to you with another video. <clears throat> a weirdo. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. We wanted to make a special video for the Super Bowl. So I'm actually going to be going out and getting the Super Bowl items after we film this. But you guys mentioned that you like seeing what we get at the grocery store and we're gonna be making basically a fast food and homemade video tonight mm -hmm. because it's for Super Bowl and Christy had some really great ideas. So yeah, we wanna do that and also throw in some fast food in the mix. So hopefully this is gonna be great. Now we're gonna show you guys what we got. This is kind of like an average grocery haul for us. Even though we got them all at Target and we usually don't get groceries at Target. So these were $5 because I got five apples. These are uh, pink lady apples. And then we made sure to get two lightly salted, lightly salted Quaker uh, rice cakes, which are really great. I would, I eat probably what, like a sleeve of these. That's what I do too. <laughs> yeah. So one lasts us today. And then we got some diet seven up right there. And bell peppers. Bell peppers. What are you making with that? Bell pepper nachos? They're just going to have to find out. But yeah, something like that. Oops. My bad. Salad. Cheese. And that's that's reduced fat mozzarella cheese because we're going to be using that with our uh, concoction tonight, celery, because I'm, right. I'm doing the color right now. Oh, that's probably an old wrapper. Broccoli is very good for you. And I'm going to try to make some cauliflower bites for Super Bowl. Uh, it's kind of like an alternative. You guys are going to see a lot of recipes in this video that are alternatives if you guys are watching your calories around Super Bowl because Super Bowl is a, a time where there's a lot of, um, let's just say, not so diet friendly foods. So that's going to be a thing to this video. So, um, and of course, I had to get some ranch. I actually haven't gotten the Both House ranch in a while. We've been eating a different version. But you and need then it. tomato sauce because I don't even know what. Tricky pepper. This won't be used in this video, but. It's not gonna be used in this well, video. Well, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'd make this. She's the mastermind. We'll figure it out. Uh, we also decided to get some Pop Tart crisps. Ooh. Completely random, but it's a new item, and when I see new items out there, I have to at least try them. So we're gonna throw that in this video too. That's why we get along so well. And then some sugar free jello right there. If this wants to focus on Christy's face, which is also the jello box right now, not my face. Uh, and then last but not least, we have some Greek yogurt because we're gonna make a dip. It's gonna be great. Yes. So, without further ado, go get me some wings. I'm gonna go get some wings. Yeah, it's raining and thundering. That's not good. Thanks for calling Domino's. What can I get for you? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do one order of your barbecue wings, please. Okay, just a barbecue wings? Yep. It's time to go get our wings. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, we have our wings. It's time for wing order number two. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a single meal of six pieces, please. Awesome, I see the name for your order, please. It's gonna be for Eric. You're welcome, bye-bye. Eventually. Wings have been acquired. Just in case you guys don't know, wings, just in case you guys don't know, wings and things, it's a thing here in San Diego. Now it's time to eat. Diet Cherry 7-Up because it looks sensational. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. So I think, you know, the big question on, on everyone's minds is who are you rooting for? Ugh, Team Brady. Team so Brady. here's what we want to do right now because, you know, we have to ask, oh, by the way, welcome to another fast food battle. Yes, welcome. Christy Hicks, otherwise known as Christy the Electric, is coming to you guys <laughs> in this video. So since we have another fast food battle, I honestly, I haven't seen that much engagement on one of our videos. I know, before. that was crazy. So this is like a cheat meal battle again. Cheat meal battle. Uh, cheat meal so battle. this is the battle of the wings, everybody. Mm -hmm. So she is team Brady. I am gonna say that I'm team Rams because I honestly, I'm, don't hate me out there, but I'm not the biggest Patriots fan. But well, I, most people are gonna hate me because I am a Patriots fan, so. I mean, not really. I mean, I, I know a lot of Patriots fans. Mm -hmm. Anyways, my Chicago Bears are not in the Super Bowl this year, so oh, it doesn't I wonder really why. Matter. Football, but I still know they you suck. suck. <laughs> yeah, they do kind of suck. Anyways, 
Uh, so, guys, we have a full spread in front of us. Uh, we also have to ask you guys, are you Team Dominoes or are you Team Wings and Things? If you guys don't know Wings and Things, they are. Do you know Wings and Things? I do know. She does now. I was not gonna do a Buffalo Wild Wings. Cause you just ate 120-ish wings. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, you yeah. will see it very soon. Oh, Coming yeah, up it's Super not out yet, huh? Not out yet, it's not oh, dropping out. Okay. So she made her own, uh, you wanna show those actually, yes. baby? So these are a healthy version of nachos. They are, do you wanna describe them? Cause I didn't make them. Um, they're, they're, it's just bell pepper, ground turkey, and low fat cheese. Like nachos. So we have our own, we gotta have some balance here, people. I made some cauliflower bites. Uh, basically guys, if you put egg whites and breadcrumbs into, um, like a mixture on top of cauliflower. I would normally would have used fresh cauliflower as opposed to frozen because they're a little bit smaller. Um, and you put Franks on on that, it's delicious. It needs a little bit more Franks. And it nutritious, it does. I'll put some more. There you go. Good. Yeah. Is that the hot pot or is it mild? I don't, I don't mess with the hot pot. Okay. All right, so first we're gonna try out this healthy, these healthy nachos. Let's put that, let's put that right there. We're gonna try these for dessert. So, um, I think we gotta start with these healthy, healthy nachos right here. Let's try it and see how it tastes. You go first. I go first? Yeah, you pick first. It's just the hard part is having to choose the color. There oh, go. there we go. All right, so that's the first bite here, people. Let's do this. Cheers. I love it. That corn shell. Wow. Guys, honestly, when you're drunk at that Super Bowl party, you're not gonna know the difference between real nachos and this in any way, so. <laughs> just go with it. Wow, babe. Uh-huh. You killed it. I know. And all these recipes are available on. They'll be up on my trainer, so on my hustlers, you'll get these first. Link is down below. Wow. They're really good. I, I did them plain. But you could totally top these with sour cream, salsa, beans, free boys, ketchup. Do you me? Do you? Resist. Ketchup me. These are amazing. Mmm. Alright, mouthful of bell pepper right now. Do you like it with ketchup? Oh yeah, much better with ketchup. It's like the lubrication to get it down your throat. Yeah. What it is? Everybody's taking notes. All the 13 year olds are loving that. Anyways guys, so I personally haven't made these in forever. Put a little bit more Franks on there. They're Meals. good, I like it. It's, it's a little more crunch. It's like having wings, but it's cauliflower. And you guys, when you put breadcrumbs on this, it doesn't have to be a huge coat of breadcrumbs. It doesn't, a little goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Those are very good, babe. We're gonna have to recreate those for Yeah, we're gonna have a little more time. I'll be sure to make this a little bit more. I think Regional. we should get the Frank's buffalo sauce. Oh, that's good. That's what, when I asked you last night, that's oh, what I thought you had said we had. Oh, no. But I do like that sauce. We'll grab it for Sunday. I'll drop the cauliflower bite. So, speaking of bread, I don't expect my love to give these a shot because... No thanks. Oh, okay, I'll just drink my refill. So these, I, I'm gonna have to say that my favorite breadstick of all time. What's your favorite breadstick of all Olive time? Olive Garden. I was gonna say, oh, oh great man, great man, think alike. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. But the best bread, if you're gonna go somewhere, is Texas Roadhouse Rolls or Cheesecake Factory. But we prefer chips and salsa. We do. This is all right. It's not the good. It's not the bread. It's not the greatest. I give them like a. I don't even know. It just tastes like a normal breadstick to me. There's no like flavor or anything. Mm. I'd give it a five out of ten. Alrighty, so shall we move on to 
Cauliflower? No, I'm just kidding because I'm gonna eat all the cauliflower bites. What do you think is gonna taste better? Cray cheeses. See them? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. You sure can, my love. Ooh. Personally. I think those ones are gonna taste better. Whoa. These ones are pretty saucy, though. Is there even any sauce on this? So that's what it looks like right there. I don't think these are sauced. And honestly, guys, here we go. On, on three, this is what we're gonna do for every fast food battle from now on. Okay. On three, we're gonna say which one we think is gonna taste better. Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three. Wait, Domino's. Stop. Are you serious? Yeah, those look way better than those. Are you serious? Those ones me, I nah. don't know, just cause it's got barbecue on it though. Well, it's great because this is great. We have opposition here. Um, as soon as this wants to like. Oh, I'm sorry, is that why that was there? There you go. All right, so. All right. Um, how about you, how about this? You try a drumstick. Oh, my hair's going crazy. I got one from Wingstop. You got one from Domino's. Go get that big, <clears throat> juicy one. All right, it's the battle of the wings, people. Let's do this. Um, that was all fat. That's the downside of Domino's wings. They're all fat. But if you want to have the other half of my wing, then you'll like that one. Yeah, let's try this out. Yo. Oh, Eric won. Woo! Those ones are Ladies and gentlemen, I won. Those ones look better. Yeah, I gotta say, the, the wing stop, they kill it when it comes to the, the the actual wing itself, because the wing itself isn't supposed to have tons of fat on mm -mm, it. Those That's ones gross. are fatty. Guys, Domino just gets a huge thumbs down. On yeah, I'm so disappointed. These ones are actually really good though. Uh, but honestly, the best, okay, the best wings that you're gonna get are Buffalo Wild Wings. How are these compared to B-dubs? I would say the B-dubs, B-dubs wings are my top wings. Mm. Um, babe, let me, let me just tell you this right now. So you work the B-dubs for how long? Three, four months. Three or four months. Did you ever see anyone actually have exquisite wing technique? Many times. They know how to do it? Mm hmm So do you know where I'm going with this? Mm hmm Okay, so to those of you who don't know how to competitively eat wings, AKA eat them very fast, here's what you do. For the flat, you put your two fingers on the bone right there, just like so. Hold it, just like so. And then get to the end of the wing and you tear it off. Let's do this, ready? I'll fail. I can do that too. I'll do swell. I can do that too. You ready? Ready? Watch this. Ready? Oh. <laughs> well, um, let's just try again because this one has more fat on it, right? Show my clean. Damn, yeah, man. Why is this impossible? The flavor's good, I, I will say. The flavor's very good. So, I guess, guys, we found our new favorite wing place, even though we never really eat wings. Mm -mm. Because guess what happened? It gets all over your face. Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree. I like the taco boats, though. Babe, you killed these taco boats. Thank you. Like, on a scale of, like, like one to 15, mm -hmm. one to 10, you're a 15 right now. Oh, thanks babe. They are tasty. I do like them. We're gonna, we're gonna try these taco crisps, or taco crisp, Pop-Tarts crisps. I can get these open. We saw these in the store and we're like, you know what? When mm -hmm. it comes to new things like this, oh, they're like little, it's like a little bar. I told you that. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, we try to keep this as Super Bowl themed as possible, but sometimes, you know, you guys, you just gotta go and get new things. Mm -hmm. Nice, babe. I'm struggling. I need to get that back. 
Mm. Really? Here's a whipped paper towel. Oh, those things saved my life in this beat up Buffalo Wild Wings challenge. That was, that was horrible. Are we gonna share one or? Sure, let's share one. Okay. So this is what it looks like right here. Ooh, it smells like brown sugar cinnamon. Oh, oh my those are goodness my gracious. Oh man, that looks beautiful. All right, do you wanna, oh, oh yeah, we're sharing one. Okay, let's do this. All right. Oh man, wow. Oh yeah, those are good. That's really good. Good, I buy them again, for sure. Yeah, I mean, like they, they taste like. I mean, I cards. wouldn't actually buy them again because I very rarely buy this type of food, but it's good. If you guys enjoyed the video, we wanted to do another like fast food mashup type of thing. Yeah. I mean, we usually wanted to go for like something that's a little bit more mainstream. I know Wings and Things isn't really the biggest mainstream thing, but Domino's is. Mm -hmm. uh, it, what we want you guys to do is suggest to us where you guys want us to go for the next one. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. The Electrics will see you next time.